Okay. So I'm going to first show you the scoreboard as it was before the freeze. And then we are going to see whatever happens uh, uh, during, the, uh, during the last hour of the contest. So before the freeze, uh, here is the scoreboard. It looks like this, uh, so from top to bottom. And so what we are going to do, every time you see a yellow thing, it means that there were submissions attempted during the last hour. When there is green, uh, it means that the problem was solved before the freeze. When there is red, it means that the problem was not solved before the freeze and no submissions were attempted uh, during the last hour. So what we are going to do is that we are going to take all these yellow boxes uh, and see if they turn into green or into, um, uh, into uh, uh, red. Can I just say something that all of this is streamed live on YouTube. If you want your friends in your uh, university or school to watch this and discover in real time or with a very small lag what's going on, you can go to this work website. There is a live tab and there you should have a link to a YouTube page that allows you to see all of this and allows you to share all of this with your friends. Just so you know. Okay, so we are going first to see uh, what happened in the last um, um, in the last hour for the teams at the bottom of the ranking, and at some point we are going to uh, take a pause and see uh, a bit slower whatever happens to the team above a given point. So let's go. So this uh, we are looking at, for instance, one particular team, and we are looking at its uh, submission. And you see that uh, we are looking if the submission turns into green. Here it is. And we do that. We do that for all teams uh, until a certain point <laughs> where we will pause for a month. So you see that. Uh, <laughs> A number of attempts, some successful. <laughs> so when it... <laughs> When a team is moving up, you don't see the final ranking, you just see the provisional ranking waiting for other uh, submissions to be resolved. <laughs> the number at the end... <laughs> the number at the end is uh, the number of minutes. So when it's uh, very close to 300, it means... <laughs> it means attempts at the very last. Okay, let's pause here and see uh, what happens for the uh, teams that are above this point. So we are right now uh, for the teams that are in the first 39 uh, positions. And we are starting with uh, the team Insel Young 1, who had two problems solved before the freeze, and uh, they attempted to solve two more problems. Uh, so let's try, if they le let's try to see if they uh, managed to do it. So uh, on problem uh, D, they tried to solve it, and yes, they did. <laughs> So we'll go back. We'll, we'll go back to Insalion uh, One is in a, in a minute, and then we move to uh, Sobobol Technion. Uh, no more submissions attempted in the last uh, in the last hour. So this is the final ranking, 39 uh, position for uh, Sobobols of Technion. <laughs> team uh, Feast Team Three. I don't really know uh, what the joke is uh, here, so I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> So uh, from uh, Ines Paris-Saclay, attempted submissions on problem I and K, did they manage? Problem I, yes. <laughs> Team uh, Insa Lyon 3, uh, no more submissions in the last hour. So this is the final ranking, ranking 38th position for Team Insa Lyon 3. The team rated C++ from the Faculty of Engineering of the University of Porto, attempting submission on uh, problems D and G. On problem D, it worked. <laughs> the 
the team Sapienza Black attempted submission on problem I at the very last minute, uh, 299. Did it, uh, was it successful? Yes, it was. <laughs> team OPLS from ENS Lyon attempted a submission on, on uh, uh, problem D, which was successful. We are once more with uh, Team Insalion 1. We saw, we saw this team uh, earlier. So it attempted another um, attempt at the problem K, which was successful. <laughs> so we are still in the 37 uh, top teams. Uh, we have Team UCM Double Star uh, from uh, uh, Madrid. And they also attempted something at the very last minute on problem B. Was it successful? No. <laughs> so, position 37 for this team. Um, we move to uh, EPFL logo, uh, or EPF logo. Let me try another mic, is it better? Uh, so, Team EPF logo, uh, three problems attempted in the last hour, D, E, and F. Uh, problem D was unsuccessful, E was successful. <laughs> Universita di Trento, Team Time Limit exceeded, two attempts on problem B and I. Problem B is successful. <laughs> So qui quite a lot happened in the, f in, the, in the last hour, you can see. We move to Team Insalion 2, uh, attempts on uh, problems B and G. Problem B was unsuccessful, and problem G uh, also. <laughs> so position 36 for Insalion 2. <laughs> Team Fifi and Large and from uh, this school here attempted some missions on problems B, uh, F, and K. On problem B, it was successful. <laughs> ENS Un Beta attempted submissions on problems B and K, and on problem B, it was unsuccessful. On problem K, it was unsuccessful also at the last minute. <laughs> so position 35 for ENS Un Beta. Position uh, for the top 34 teams. UCM star attempt at problem B, unsuccessful. So position 34 <laughs> for UCM star. <laughs> we are seeing again rated C++ from the uh, Faculty of Engineering of, of Porto. Uh, from now on, all teams have at least four problems solved. Uh, they also attempted a solve at problem G. Uh, the last minute, not successful. <laughs> Um, okay, we are back to this team. I don't know how to pronounce this team three. Um, so, and last attempt at problem K. Nope. <laughs> Sapienza Black, we saw earlier, they had a last minute attempt at problem, uh, at problem uh, I, which was successful, no more attempts. So position 31 for Sapienza Black. <laughs> On PLS, we also saw earlier, no more attempts, position 30 for on PLS. <laughs> In Salion 1, we saw earlier, position 29. <laughs> EPF logo, uh, one more attempt at problem uh, F. Um, so let's try to see if it was successful, 15 minutes before the end of the competition. And it was uh, successful. <laughs> So, time limit exceeded. Did they do a time limit exceeded on problem I? Let's see. They solved it. <laughs> Ecole Polytechnique, team EP White, uh, attempted uh, solving problem I and K. Problem I, successful. <laughs> Uh, 
Web other courses from Technion attempted uh, problems D, uh, F, and that's all. So on problem D, yes. <laughs> So a team from the University uh, of Milan who didn't know how to choose uh, their team name attempted problem G, I, and K. G was unsuccessful, I was successful. <laughs> we are back to Fifi and Large and the Telecom Paritech team we saw earlier. Uh, an attempt on problem F uh, which worked. <laughs> University of Verona, B or not to be, uh, problems B and I. So on problem B, did they succeed? Yes, they did. Uh, Alma Conquistadora from Lisbon, uh, they attempted uh, uh, problem K uh, two minutes before the end of the competition, and it was not successful. <laughs> Position 28. Uh, CMD Paris Sackley, I will also need to know what the, uh, what the explanation for the joke here is. Uh, so they attempted uh, problem E. Uh, problem E uh, was successful. <laughs> so I guess this team should be pronounced Calin, like uh, Cuddles, uh, from ENS Lyon. Uh, and they attempted problems B and I. Problem B didn't work, problem I worked. <laughs> the University of Bologna, Blaise One, uh, this team m was the first one to solve problem D, which is uh, quite an achievement. Uh, so you can congratulate them first. <laughs> and then uh, we'll see what they did on problem uh, F, uh, H, and K. Problem F, Successful. <laughs> we are back to EPF logo, no more attempts, so final ranking 27 for EPF logo. <laughs> EP White from Ecole Polytechnique, one last attempt at problem K. Successful. <laughs> So as you can see, a lot happened during the last hour. Time limit exceeded. Uh, this time, uh, no more submissions. Uh, uh, rank 26 for time limit exceeded. <laughs> CMD Paris Aclay, no more submission. Rank 25 for CMD Paris Aclay. <laughs> Robert Duck Forces from Technion, one more attempt at problem F, which was Unsuccessful, rank 24. <laughs> Once more, uh, the uh, host school team, uh, Fifi and Large N, last attempt at problem K, was it successful? Yes, they were. <laughs> uh, <coughs> the uh, University of Milan team uh, attempted problem K, uh, it worked. <laughs> The University of Murcia, Umu One, uh, at the very last minute attempted problem B and didn't solve it. It's position 23. <laughs> to be or not to be, uh, University of Verona, uh, pos uh, problem I attempt at the very last minute, unsuccessful. Okay, uh, EPFD, uh, ENS Lyon, uh, two more attempts, problem I and K. Problem I, successful. <laughs> Another team from ENS Lyon, Calin, now no more submissions, so rank 21 for this team. <laughs> EP Blue from Ecole Polytechnic, uh, one more attempt at the very last minute on problem I. Uh, a lot of teams attempted things at the very last minute, uh, a bit of desperation. Uh, problem I, unsuccessful, position 20. 
Blaise won with the Bologna. Two more problems attempted, so, they, so it can uh, change quite a lot still. On problem H, successful. <laughs> so newcomers from uh, Harbour Space University, a new university participating in SWEC, uh, attempted problem F, and successful. <laughs> Mora Donellani, Politecnico di Milano, sorry, attempted uh, problem F and K, and on problem F, success. <laughs> we're, now, we're now moving on to the realm of teams having solved six problems out so of 11. So six problems is quite impressive. Uh, I can tell you we're quite stressed in the... Uh, in the judge room, uh, by the rhythm at which problem was solved, we were uh, a bit uh, afraid that all uh, 11 problems would be solved in three or four hours. Uh, so uh, six problems is really an achievement. Congratulations to all the teams uh, that managed that. White from Michael Polytechnic, no more uh, attempt uh, uh, to process. So final rank 19 for EP White from Michael Polytechnic. <laughs> Fifi Ryan Large N, no more attempts uh, also. Uh, so uh, rank 18 from this team of Telecom Paritech. <laughs> Same rank 17 from the team from the University of Milan. Scuola Normale Superiore uh, uh, attempts at problem H and I uh, in the last 10 minutes for both. On problem H, it didn't work. On problem I, it worked. <laughs> EPFD and S. Lyon again, uh, last attempt at problem K, unsuccessful. Position 16 for EPFD. Mola Donnellani, Politico di Milano, last attempt to process on problem K. Successful. <laughs> and uh, Blaise One, University of Bologna, in the very last minutes on problem K, were they successful? Uh, it's quite important because if they are successful, they manage to get a medal. I don't believe uh, it. So let's see. I don't believe it. Oh, no. <laughs> But, as I mentioned earlier, they were the first to solve the problem uh, D. And let us stop here to consider that this yeah. is the first team to be given a medal, because we are giving out two gold medals, four silver medals, and eight bronze medals, meaning to the top 14 teams. So we are going to ask uh, uh, from now on when we have the final ranking of a team, if it doesn't uh, uh, change, we are going to ask the team to come to the stage and get the medals uh, uh, when, they are, when they are called. Um, so we are now at position 14 with uh, Team Spacers from Harbour Space University. <laughs> there are no more uh, submissions to process, so it means that uh, Team Spacers is a bronze medal, rank 14. We'd like to come. <laughs> so Team Spacers will receive a gift from Huawei. May I call to the stage Mr. Merwan Deba and Mr. Gangwa Yang, who are the director and vice director of the Math and Algorithmic Sciences Lab of France, RNC Huawei, who will be giving out presents to, these, to our bronze medalist.
Yes, congratulations again. Okay, thank you. <coughs> so let's look at the other medalists. So uh, we have a. <coughs> Ecole Polytechnique is still in the race. We've seen two of Ecole Polytechnique teams uh, finishing in the rankings, but now we still have one. So uh, at position 13 so far, it may evolve. So uh, EP Red uh, attempted uh, solving problem F. Uh, did they manage to do it? Well, yes, they did. Yes, they did. <laughs> Um, so, UPC uh, 3 from the University of Tal Politecnica di Catalunya uh, attempted from I. Did they succeed? Yes, they did. <laughs> so, as for UPC, we still have three UPC teams upwards in the ranking that we still have to sort out, but they are doing quite well so far. Okay, let's see. Uh, top of the mountain from the University of Haifa. Uh, they attempted solving problem I and J. Uh, so let's see on problem I. Uh, no. On problem J? Nope. So position 13 from the University of Haifa. <laughs> top of the mountain. I would like to throw the team top of the mountain to the stage, our second bronze medalist. Okay, let's move on. Uh, we move on to the team from the Faculty of Sciences of the University of Porto. Two problems in the two last minutes, I can't believe it. Yeah, this. two problems in the la two last minutes. If they managed to solve both in the la last two minutes, it would be impressive. Okay. Uh, so let's see on problem H. Uh, problem H, unfortunately, no. Problem I, uh, no. Ah, well. <laughs> But it seems that they got some help from other teams in the ranking. A bronze a medal and 12th position from the University of Porto. There, there seems to be a bit too many balloons, uh, something fishy here. <laughs> Congratulations again. <laughs> okay, uh, we move on to uh, Team Rocket from uh, ETL Zurich. Uh, they attempted, so they were the first to solve from A, they attempted in the last hour to solve from F and J. Let's see, problem F, uh, nope, problem J, uh, nope, so, <laughs> bronze medal, 11th place for Team Rockets.
know that they were also the first to solve the first problem on which there was uh, quite a number of competitors. <laughs> Okay. Um. Okay. <laughs> so, oh, missing uh, something? No. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, okay, move. let's uh, move on and go upwards. Um, to top ten. We are now to the top ten of the teams, uh, and at position ten, uh, no more attempts. So uh, the uh, SNS Due uh, Scuola Normale Superiore in position ten and bronze medalist. <laughs> I have a feeling we're not done with SNS yet. <laughs> Congratulations again to SNS2. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, now. Top nine, uh, no more attempts for uh, Morado Nellani from Politecnico di Milano. So at position nine and uh, bronze medalist, uh, Morado Nellani. Yes, we are delivering uh, balloons that had been delayed for freeze reasons. Congratulations again. Um, please try not to release your balloons because I'm not sure how we are going to uh, get them uh, from up well there. We'll have to harvest them tomorrow morning, I guess. When they are ripe and they fall down like apples from a tree. Okay, uh, now position eight and no more attempts uh, so to process. So um, the third team of uh, UPC, uh, UPC is three, Universidad Politica de Catalunya, the eighth place. I hope the picture is correct because I had some hesitation on the pictures of UPC teams. So let's see. Yes, it is correct. Congratulations again. Congratulations again. <laughs> OK.
Okay, we are moving to uh, the top seven. So this is the last bronze medal that we are going to give. And it's uh, it's uh, will go to uh, EP Red from Ecole Polytechnique. So I'm afraid we have run out of uh, bronze medals, so we have to move to silver medals. We are now looking at the top six, and as you can see, there is quite a lot of suspense still because there is a lot of unresolved submissions in the top six. So we'll start with uh, UPC1, who was the first to solve problem B. They attempted in the last hour to solve problem J and problem I. So on problem J, did they manage to solve it? Yes, they did. <laughs> So now, uh, Illusion, uh, Università della Svizzera Italiana. Uh, two attempts in the last hour on problem H and uh, J. Uh, so let's see, uh, on problem H. Yes. <laughs> UPC2, Universidad Politecnica de Catalunya. Uh, one, laf one last attempt on problem uh, I, four last attempts on problem J, including at the very last minute. So let's see, on problem I. Yes. <laughs> Still a lot of suspense. We still don't know the order between the top six. Um. But it means that all of the silver medalists will have solved at least eight problems. Yes, everyone has solved at least eight problems, which is extremely impressive. <laughs> So UPC1, let's see. Uh, they attempted pro to solve from I. Uh, actually, just after the freeze. So was it successful? Yes, it was. <laughs> and so UPC1 takes for now the first place, but all of it may still change. Do you think I will be able to give out the medals at some point? Or <laughs> so let's try to resolve more submissions. UPC2, uh, they attempted problem I uh, four times, including at the very last minute. Uh, so was it successful at the very last minute? Well, come no. on. No. <laughs> Congratulations to UPC2, silver medalist. Okay, uh, let's move on. 
So, in the fifth place for now, it may change. Uh, Illusion from the Università della Svizzera Italiana. They try to solve at the very last minute also uh, problem J. So, oh, no. <laughs> So, um, the coach of USI made me change the picture at the very last minute, so I hope it's the right picture, hopefully. Uh, it is the right picture. So, congratulations to USI. Okay, now we move to the top four. Oh, we still have lots of work to do. I don't know. Okay, uh, the, four top, the top four teams, so the team uh, that is ranked right now second, third and fourth, all have uh, submissions to process. So let's start with team Ines Ulmwan. Submissions to process on problems F, uh, H, Let's see. Problem F. Uh, 13 minutes before the end of the contest. They solve it. <laughs> okay, so we'll get back to them uh, later. Uh, they are temporary at position at ranking one, but it may still change. Okay, uh, SNS1, uh, Scuola Normale Superiore. They were the first to solve the problem E, and uh, they attempted to solve the problem C during the last, uh, uh, the last hour, 19 minutes before the end. So let's see, did they manage? No, they didn't. Congratulations to Scuola Normale Superiore, Silva Medalist. So I remind you that uh, Veronica told us the other day that there was a chance that four teams may qualify to the World Finals. Uh, so we'll see about it, but uh, with nothing is uh, uh, definite yet. But uh, all these teams have a good chance of going to the World Finals. And they all did a very good job in any case. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's move to the top three. So currently at the third position, uh, first to solve from F, first to solve from H, first to solve from K, uh, is Team Raclet uh, from uh, ETH Zurich. And they had two attempts, one attempt at uh, problem G, one attempt at problem J. One was, uh, let's see, um, one was uh, 22 minutes before the end. So let's see. Yeah. <laughs> And so we'll get back later to the top two, but it means that uh, at the top three and third place, uh, first to solve from MB and silver medalist is UPC1. <laughs>
Okay, uh, so now we will have to move to the gold medals, and there is still some uncertainty between uh, the two last teams, last two teams. Because we will be giving out two gold medals, <laughs> two gold medals and prizes from Huawei, and also prizes from Facebook. <laughs> And we will also be handing out a trophy. So which of these two teams will have the luck of walking home with this unreasonably large trophy right here? <laughs> <laughs> that is what is left for us to decide. I would now like to call on stage uh, Mr. Arseny Shelnokov to give out prizes for Facebook as well. OK. Uh, yeah, so before I forget, also one uh, impressive thing is that uh, so UPC had three teams uh, that, that have medals, uh, and so if I'm not m uh, uh, mistaken, the coach of UPC will, will go back with two silver medals and one uh, bron bronze medal, right? Yes, uh, it was quite impressive also. <laughs> And to keep delaying the suspense, let's point out that these okay. top two teams have so So these each two teams, nine okay. Nine problems each. Wow, wonderful. Uh, nine problems each, but you can see that the time sold is much higher for the second team than for the first team. Uh -huh. Let's see. So uh, it seems like a desperate attempt at the very last minute. Uh, problem eight was attempted by Yenes Yulmuan. Desperate attempt, right? And they succeeded. Oh. So to, to, be, to be precise, I think it was 30 seconds before the end. <laughs> they played it very close. <laughs> what took you so long? <laughs> what were you doing? OK, so we still have to resolve. Uh, we still don't know who the top two is. Uh, and because uh, Team Reichlet also has a uh, submission at the very last minute. So <laughs> what happened on problem J for Team Reichlet? Well, oh. <laughs> So, <laughs> congratulations to Team Reichlet uh, for solving the problems F, H, and K for the first time, and to be gold medalist second place at SWERC. So many games to get out, it's becoming quite difficult to hold all of them, right? <laughs> so, they have a lot to, to carry back. Uh, congratulations again. <laughs> And as a uh, uh, as another congratulations, so the the coach of uh, of this team was actually uh, uh, participating in the public contest, and he managed to solve all eleven problems. <laughs> But of course, it's much easier when you have internet access, etc. Okay, uh, 
thanks and congratulations again to uh, Team Reichlet. Yeah. And so I guess uh, there is no more suspense anymore. We move to the uh, SWAC champion, with ENS Ulmwan, uh, ENS Paris, with 10 problems solved. <laughs> First to solve problem J, I and J. You may recognize that coach as, as he was part of the SWEG champion last year and the year before. <laughs> and so uh, for the first time at SWEC we have a cup, we have a trophy. This trophy goes to the SWEC champion but it's not for them to keep, it's for them to bring back next year uh, when they are back in Paris, when they are back, uh, not necessarily in Paris, we don't know, when they are back <laughs> to SWEC. <laughs> It's a good thing that it goes to a Parisian team because it would have been very awkward to carry in a plane. <laughs> Congratulations again, and I'm afraid this uh, concludes our uh, uh, award ceremony. There is no team uh, beyond the top one. Congratulations to all team who participated. We are the judges are very impressed by uh, your results. As I mentioned earlier, we were quite scared that uh, people would solve too early too many problems. In the end, it went uh, okay. It's a pity no one solved uh, uh, problem C, but uh, that's life. <laughs>